Well, new this morning, we are getting a close look at Diane Yates' new home in Cameron. It sits right next to the home she claims Brendan Myers tore up and left for ruins back in March. Texas Today reporter Meredith Haas has been following this story since May. Now, Meredith, how excited is Diane for her new home? Jasmine, Diane says she is overjoyed that she is going to get this new home. It's not completely built just yet, but the foundation is laid and it's right next to the home she shared with her husband. I am just, I mean, I'm just praising God that I'm able to, you know, to stay here now. The blueprints are drawn up and the foundation has been laid for Diane Yates' new home in Cameron. In down here is going to be the living room, dining room, and kitchen. It's going to be an open concept. It sits right next to the current one, the one that Diane claims Brendan Myers tore up and left for ruins back in March. When she walks around the space that'll one day hold new memories, she's in disbelief. And I thought, was I dreaming that? And I told Otis and he said, no, you weren't dreaming. It's going to be true. Since May, Six News has followed Diane through her original house. On Monday, the good news arrived. A member of the community, Otis Foster, has decided to step up to build Diane a new home. So we're going to build her like a little uh, barn dominium. And we're just trying to get some help from the community to uh, be able to help fund that. The goal is to give Diane a new place to live by Christmas, something she didn't have last year. And he said, well, this year you should be able to have a big Christmas tree in your big living room and all the family around. July 16th, the community will gather at the Cameron Fire Station to contribute to this effort. And everyone is welcome, so Diane's dream home can become reality. I'm just looking so forward to having dinners and things again for my family and all the grandkids and great plans. Okay, so Otis and Diane ask everyone who wants to come out and help to come to the Cameron Fire Station July 16th at 2.30 p.m. They're going to show the plans of the house and tell everyone how they can offer up their assistance either monetarily or physically. And this is such a wonderful development that we have been following since May. Now Diane will be able to live in her home come the winter because there was a possibility that she might have had to move. And this is property that she's had her whole life. Light in the news, yeah. Meredith Haas. So happy to see this all kind of come full circle. You know, it's horrible what happened uh, to her, yep. but the community came together and they're going to build her a new home. That is just awesome. The people in Central Texas, they are great. Thank you for that report, Meredith. Thank you for following up on this story.